thank you for participating in the Low Flow Showerhead and Faucet Aerator Program. We applaud your desire to save energy. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a new faucet aerator. It's easy and should just take a few minutes. There are two styles of faucet aerators. The larger one is for your kitchen. The smaller one is for your bathroom faucet. Start by checking to see if your faucet already has an aerator. It looks like this. If it does, unscrew it by hand. If necessary, you might need to use a wrench to help loosen it. Your faucet may have inside or outside threads. This faucet has outside threads. For inside threads, use the two washers that came with the kit, if they're not already seated in the aerator. Simply place the thinner washer into the aerator, followed by the thicker washer right on top. For outside threads, use only the thinner washer and discard the thicker one. Now, simply screw the new aerator on by hand. Make sure not to over tighten it. If the aerator doesn't screw on properly by hand, carefully unscrew it, check alignment, and try again, being really careful not to strip those threads. If the new aerator leaks, Turn off the water and unscrew the aerator. Realign and gently screw it back on. Hand tightening typically works for aerators, but it may be necessary to use a wrench to tighten it a quarter turn. Don't over tighten it as you may damage the aerator or the faucet, and you may want to use a cloth to protect the finish. You may also try using pipe seal tape if the aerator still leaks. With the kitchen aerator, you have the option of pushing the pause action lever up when you want a splash-free, solid stream of water to fill a bowl or a pot, for example. Be sure to push it down when you're finished. Follow the same installation steps for the smaller bathroom aerator. And remember, it's a good idea to periodically clean the aerators. Simply put them into a solution of hydrogen peroxide or vinegar, give it a few minutes, then rinse and reinstall. Now that we're all finished, did you know that installing one energy-saving low-flow shower head and aerator in your home can save you 4,200 gallons of hot water per year? That's enough to fill around 70 bathtubs for bathing. So you'll be saving money, water, and energy. If you have any questions, call our hotline or visit our website.